Now at 1030, the gift of life after the sudden and tragic death of a 20 year old Riverside woman. Her organs were donated to people across the world and one of them, a 13 year old boy in Las Vegas. Only on five, Christina Pascucci has the moving story from Las Vegas where Athena Zapata's family had the chance to listen to her heartbeat. In the last month of her life, Athena came to this very street, Fremont Street, minutes away from where her donor recipient lives and also where the two families would come together for the first time. 12-year-old Gabby and 13-year-old Jason just met, but they are now family, bonded not just because they both have muscular dystrophy, but through what some might call divine intervention, bonded by their common hero, Gabby's older sister, Athena. Does anyone have the number to hear what I need it right now? 20-year-old Riverside resident Athena Zapata died last November. She had taken what she thought was a muscle relaxer, but it was laced with fentanyl, a drug 100 times more powerful. Athena slipped out of consciousness and days later died. KTLA was there for Athena's memorial. Oh my God, she was the most beautiful person that I've ever known. Athena, the type of girl who always wanted to help, was an organ donor. And it just so happened Las Vegas resident Jason Clark had had a stroke and needed a heart. He had uh, cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and he needed a heart transplant. God knows when we come in and when we go out and that it was time for her to go and give her heart to him at that time. It is uncanny when you think of the similarities between Athena and Jason. Athena was uh, a cage fighter, MMA. And Jason's obsessed with UFC fighting on YouTube. That's all he watches all day. The fact that they, he shares the same condition as Athena's little sister. My daughter has uh, myopathy also. Just like him, she's in a wheelchair. And feet from this hotel room is where Athena celebrated her 20th birthday the month before her death. Up and down, dancing and just living her best life. And I just feel like she organized all this. I'm happy that he got a piece of my child that's going to help him live a healthy life. And now for the first time, Athena's family will hear her heart beating in Jason's chest. Can you hear again? Mm -hmm. Athena will live on through many just like yeah. Jason. Wow. <laughs> it's an awesome heartbeat, Jason. Her right cornea went to a man in Chile. Her uh, lungs went to somebody in Texas, a woman. Her kidneys went to somebody in San Francisco. And her, her skin is going to save um, hundreds of burn victims. While it's tough for Jason to speak, he finds a strength to say three simple words in what is now his heart. <laughs> Checking, you know. To become a donor, visit onelegacy.org. I'm Christina Pascucci for KTLA 5 News.